Have mercy, almighty oh Adeptus. I beg you, show mercy upon me and my brother. Spare our lives. Who are you? What's going on? We asked you first. Oh. You enjoy safe passage in Joyun Karst. It can only mean one thing. You must be Adepti messengers, sent here to rescue me and my brother. What is he talking about? Oh, have mercy, mighty messengers of the illuminated Adepti. I beg you to save us. My brother and I, we only came here because our family is poor, and we heard tell of treasures hidden in the amber of Mount Hulao. It was stupid of us. All we wanted to do was to find enough treasure to sell and support our family. We followed the path up the mountain, but suddenly, the amber, 
that swallowed up my brother Li Dang. I ran away and made it this far before it dawned on me. We were trespassers in the abode of the Adepti, and this was our punishment. I had no idea how to rescue my brother, so I just started praying for the Adepti to have mercy right here on the spot. And now, that long last, two messengers come to my aid. What? We're not Adepti messengers. We just want to find the Adepti like everyone else. No, 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 you, you must be messengers. You have to be. I have no idea which Amber trapped him. Please, you have to rescue him. I beg you, show me some Adepti mercy. Thank you, thank you! Oh, mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti, I promise that we will never be so foolish again! Paimo was gonna ask him about where to find the Adeptus, but he seems pretty one-track mind about rescuing his brother right now. Hmm... So... He said that Li Deng got trapped in amber somewhere on Mount Huao, and that they were following the path the whole way up. So let's follow the path down from here, and make sure to be on the lookout for amber on the way. You rescued me? Oh, thank you. Oh, and have you seen my brother? His name is Li Ding. We were climbing the mountain together. I just hope he didn't get trapped in Amber too. Phew. So he's safe then? Oh. Oh, thank you. I will head up to find my brother now. Here's hoping I don't run into any more Amber on the way. Thank you for rescuing my brother, O oh mighty messengers of the Illuminated Adepti. What? No. I mean, like everyone else, we've heard that there's an Adeptus living in Mount Hulao. The regular folks like us would never have the chance to meet them. No way. Unlike you guys, you're Adepti messengers, so it's a whole different story. Anyway. We have trespassed in the realm of the Adeptus for long enough. We should get going. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Boy, it'd be super helpful if we actually were Adepti messengers. Cause it seems like this Adeptus has got a real temper problem. But it's not like we've done anything wrong, so... Oh. Who dares trespass on my mountain? Who? Foolish mortal, come forth and receive your punishment. You intrude upon the sanctity of Mount Hulao. You destroy the amber of my mountain, and you free a thief whose freedom is not yours to give. The thieves' ignorance was an affront to the Adepti, but your actions are an abomination of the highest order. Wait! We can explain! A sigil of permission. What? In the beginning, Rex Lapis cast them for the mortals with his own hand. Few were made then, and thousands of years on, fewer still remain. Speak. One shall listen to the matter which brings you here. 
then one shall verify the truth thereof. You would be wise to speak the truth, for Liyue is not so far from here that one would be easily deceived. Rex Lapis... assassinated? At the right of dissension? What mortal in Liyue, nay in all the world, would conspire to commit such foul treason? Or perhaps the more pertinent question is, what power in this world could aspire to achieve it? Rex Lapis charged the Adepti with the protection of Liyue, and we have always honored this duty. As the people have prospered, so have we gradually withdrawn into the mountains. Indeed, this was a gesture of goodwill towards humanity. But now, alas, Rex Lapis, gone. Traveler, of the matter you have relayed, one has become aware. One now knows why Moon Carver has sent for us. Once one has dealt with certain matters here that require my attention, one shall convene with the other Adepti. Paimon can Adepti always have magical powers in storybooks. Seems it's true in real life, too. You know, like how grass is actually Adepti hair, and rivers are actually Adepti saliva. There must be something similar going on with the Amber. Your nonsense knows no bounds. This amber is produced by a flower that one has planted here, called the Karst Crawler. The majority of the plant is hidden underground. When stepped on, it produces amber to trap the invader. After taking up residence here, one planted many Karst Crawlers to ensure that the tranquility of the mountain would remain undisturbed. Over the years, they have helped to prevent many disturbances. But in the process, they have also trapped many curious things. Oh, so the Amber is alive? Correct. Thus, one may not leave this place in its current state, for fear of the risk to innocent lives in one's absence. One will depart as soon as one has attended to this matter. One trusts that the manner of your departure will be swifter in nature.
a chest is like a unwrapping a gift. Is this an answer from this world? Reward on the road. They've even oh, they even have the guest names carved into the seats. Here sits Retainer. Here sits Guizhong. Here sits Rex. Maybe Rex is short for Rex Lapis, but Paimon has no idea about Guizhong. As for Retainer. That's it! When Moon Carver was going through the names of his Adepti buddies, he said there was one called Cloud Retainer. So this must be where Cloud Retainer and the other Adepti have their dinner parties. <laughs> How about we cook up some extra special dishes for the Adepti? We're sure to get Cloud Retainer's attention that way. But what do Adepti even eat anyway? 
Paimon has no idea. Hmm. People must make offerings here all the time. Guess all we can do is look around the area for any leftovers. Maybe that'll give us some ideas. Um, do you think maybe it's at all possible that the Adepti might like to try some... Sticky Honey Roast? Here. Whoever cooked here last obviously likes to keep things neat and tidy. Paima bets they were making an offering to the Adepti. Looks like we got us some Matsutake and some raw meat. And what do you know? The recipe is right here. This chef was a super organized person. Offering to the Adepti? Hmm. Paimon can't quite imagine an offering made of flour and meat. Huh? Our messy chef dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Ew! And there's a huge footprint on it, too. But footprint aside, maybe it has something to do with this mystery dish. Let the show be... But welcome. I'll protect us. Here before. Do you think they were making an offering? Looks like they didn't use all the ingredients. Let's see here. We got some snapdragon, some lotus heads, some tofu. Whatever they were cooking, it sounds complicated. Hey, look over there. They left some notes too. Yup, it's a doozy. Paimon's not surprised they had to write it all down. It's a lot to remember. We should read it carefully. Force my 
Just like a unwrapping a gift. Go, go, Baron Bunny. Uh. No escape. Smash! <laughs> 